Can Terrence Davis be the next Fred Van Fleet? Fred Van Fleet is a great example of unexpected success story, and it is the same pathway Terrence Davis is taking. Terrence B. Davis II was born May 16, 1997, and grew up in South Haven, Mississippi. At age 6, he fell in love playing in basketball, but as he grew older, he realized that he's gifted in other sports. As soon as he graduated high school, there were 20 Division I scholarships offered to him to play football, yet he declined all the offers. He told Yahoo Sports Canada that it all came down to his first love, which was basketball. So after high school, Terrence Davis committed to Ole Miss University to play basketball. A lot of his family and friends thought he was stupid for picking basketball over football. But according to NBA.com, Terrence Davis' father told him to not take the easy way out. In his freshman year at Ole Miss, he only averaged 1.9 points per game in 19 games. After I didn't play much in my freshman year, I thought, did I choose the wrong sport? David said in an article about him in NBA.com. After that season, he worked hard and devoted himself to be a better basketball player. The next upcoming season, that was his sophomore season, that was his breakout year. He averaged 14.9 points and 5.3 rebounds per game. In his senior year, Ole Miss Rebels named Kermit Davis as the new head coach of the team. Kermit Davis focused on basics and fundamentals while coaching that team. Kermit told Terrence that he can be one of the best defenders in college basketball. By the end of the season, he was second in blocks and steals in his team. He improved his skills and seemingly his stats as the season prolonged. He led his team to an NCAA tournament, which is March Madness, but fell short against the Oklahoma Sooners. He scored 17 points, 5 rebounds, and 6 assists that night. When his college career is over, Terrence Davis ended up signing with Adams Pensac. He was an NBA agent from Pensac Sports Management Group. Unfortunately, Terrence Davis wasn't invited in G League Elite Camp. This elite camp is where NBA hopeful can show their skills and talents. Even though I wasn't discouraged, I was a little bit down on myself at first. I could not figure out what went wrong. Davis told in his interview with Hoops Hype. His agent Adam Pensack, he did his job. He sent so much email text to Wesley Harris and Steve Neff, NBA's and G League Director of Basketball Operations. And for some reason, Terrence Davis was added last minute in NBA G League League Camp. According to his agent Adam Pensack, a lot of teams thought that he was the best player out there in that camp. It was a domino effect right after that. Terrence Davis was invited to NBA Draft Combine and he also worked out with multiple teams right before NBA Draft. On June 19, 2019, the NBA Draft had finally arrived. Davis knew he wasn't going to get drafted in the first round. The Minnesota Timberwolves and Boston Celtics were interested of Terrence Davis in the second round pick of the draft. Both teams were willing to offer Terrence Davis two-way contract, meaning he would spend a little time in NBA but spend the rest of the season in the NBA G League affiliate team. He nicely declined that offer because he thought he was better than a two-way contract. He realized his chances of getting drafted is unlikely to happen. You can just hear it in my voice when I was telling them. I didn't shed a tear, although I wanted to. They believe in me so much I felt like I let them down. Terrence mentioned in his interview with TSN about letting his family down and getting undrafted. That same night, Davis tweeted a video of Fred Van Fleet announcing to his family that he's not going to get drafted back in 2016. Fred Van Fleet signed with Toronto Raptors as an undrafted rookie. Fred Van Fleet proved himself that he can play in the NBA and later agreed terms with Toronto on a reported 2 years 18 million deal. Just like Fred, Terrence also bet on himself and kept going. He entered the summer league without a contract but agreed to play for Denver Nuggets. His first game, he scored 22 points and he was 71% on the 3.9. 
Right after the game, a lot of teams were ready to give him a guaranteed contract. What stood out the most was the Toronto Raptors because Kawhi Leonard was his favorite player. And not just that, Toronto Raptors developed players like Fred Van Fleet, Pascal Siakam, and OG Ananobi. Terrence and the Raptors later agreed to a two-year deal for $2.5 million. In his contract, he is fully guaranteed $900,000 in his first season. Unlike two-way contract, his whole salary can only go up to $279,000 according to SB Nation of Vox Media. On October 22, 2019, his dream finally came true. From bouncing around camps, combines, and teams, Davis finally made a NBA debut where he scored 5 points and 5 rebounds in just 15 minutes. That's actually not a bad stat line for someone who's supposed to play for a G League affiliate team. Megan Believe is his motto throughout his life. From someone who doubted his career choice in college to play for NBA champion team, the Toronto Raptors, Terrence B. Davis II is a great example of perseverance.